Hello, welcome back my angels. As I'm ready to post your final update for February, it's another love reading. It's going to be what you need to be aware of when it comes to your love and romance. Maybe some people or some energies that you haven't been paying attention to or others that are with you or are coming towards you or some that you need to leave behind. Whichever the message is as it comes forth with the angels, I hope that you receive it in the love and light in which I bring it. Cause a blessing prayed for as they always are in my videos to a lot of time so we can spend more of the time getting the messages from the angels. Share, like, and subscribe. It does a lot for the content and the longevity of the channel. And also it gets the messages to where they need to be for the Sagittarius community. So what is the general mid-month message update? I've concluded all my mid-month readings. Um, so whatever hasn't been posted, I just have either haven't had the time to or energetically there was no reason for me to tap into that energy. So I hope you spend this weekend catching up with all the content. So let's, let's say they want me to pull only two cards from this deck. Tell it like it is and queen of everything. Well, tell it like it is. That also came up. I believe that came up either in your week, uh, your today, Friday wake up call message or another reading. Um, where your voice, what you have to say matters, don't hold back. As I always say with Sagittarius, it's just that we have to work on our approach. We don't give the best of delivery because we are so passionate about what we believe in and what we're speaking or trying to commentate about that we get so <laughs> anxious, right? And we just blurt it out. So just be cautious how you bring news or how you communicate to people or how you tell people how you feel on a, you know, on a certain subject or matter. But definitely don't hold back, Sagittarius. You tell it like it is. And if anybody can tell it like it is, it is truly a Sag. Also with the energy of queen of everything, this is dealing with, with, with romance, right? And with love. So that means in a romantic situation, don't hold back what you feel about your partner. Don't hold back about discussing the things that are of concern to you regarding your relationship or your partner. Call them out if you need to on their BS or whatever it is that they're doing that you're not comfortable with. I know we want to, you know, be easygoing and make things comfortable for our partners and we want, you know, a good, easy, um, smooth running relationship. But sometimes you have to do the difficult things to get the right results. And if your partner's not being honest with you, or if there's things that you need answers on or clarification, you just need a meeting of the minds, right? Between the both of you, how is your partner to know that they're in the wrong or that they're doing wrong or that you have concerns unless you bring it to them? So I really feel telling it like it is means whatever you, you need to discuss to your counterpart, whether it's female or male about, be honest, be open about it. Don't start the conversation and then leave half of what, you know, you want to know out because then you're, you're only going to be disenchanted and you're still going to walk away still having more questions than answers. So whatever you need to, you know, find out and get to know when you have their undivided attention, tell it like it is. Don't bite your tongue. Don't sugarcoat it. Just Ask or say whatever it is that's on your mind. That combined with the energy of queen of everything. Because, you know, in most cases, Sagittarius, everything that you do, you take ownership in. in everything that you say and speak upon, you speak truth in. And you feel like you are everything. You are the prize. And anyone that is lucky to be with you romantically uh, or, you know, even in a, uh, even if they're just, liking you and or crushing on you and they're not involved with you you come with the full package you truly are the queen of everything you're not just the queen of wands you're the queen of everything you know manifestation comes to you money comes to you luck comes to you love comes to you and with that you know that's that's a lot to withstand and it's a lot to maintain but even so, that's why it's so important to you that you deal with people who are in the up and up with you. And anytime you feel you have a question or you're unsure about something, never feel that it's not important enough for you to go to your partner and tell it like it is and to express your feelings. Let's see what else we get. Bad habits, drugs, addictions, and toxicities. You know, someone you're talking to, this also remember the roles could be reversed. I could be saying you and it's really them or I'm talking about them and it could be you. 
or sometimes it can be the both for you. Again, it depends on your story and the energies where it applies, where it fits you will resonate. So there are some bad habits that you and your partner or both of you need to address when it comes to toxicities with drinking addictions. The money could be going out of the relationship and out of the household because of these bad habits. Maybe this is where you need to tell it like it is, like say, listen, I'm tired of you being on that stuff. I'm tired of you taking the money out of our household, out of our children's mouths and putting it, you know, on these addictive behaviors, whether it be drugs or, you know, sexual rendezvous, um, smoking habits, whatever that bad vice is. So that could be something where it's really heavily upon your head that it needs to be addressed. And whether it's you or the both of you that are doing these bad things that are not healthy to the relationship, definitely you need to nip it in the bud. That accompanied with wolf in sheep's clothing. You know, when you first got with this person, what you didn't realize maybe is that they only showed you a certain side of them. No one's going to show you their worst side right out the gate, right? Everyone wants to make a good impression, including yourself. It's as we get to know people, as we open up our heart to them, our home to them, our family, our love, our life to them, or share space with them, that we really find out the flip side, the shadow side of them. So always keep in mind that even though your partner may seem to be truthful or straightforward, there's always something that they could be hiding. They always could be two-faced and you too could be two-faced sometimes. So don't always take so much what they say, but what they do and read their body language, read the room. With the energies of too busy winning, some of you miss the signs in your relationship because you're too busy working, you're too busy getting your accolades. If you're an artist or you compete a lot for competitions in your trade or your sport, you're too busy winning the prize to really notice the downfall or the things that are crumbling in your relationship. So yes, you're winning at other things that in your life, but are you letting your attention and your prioritizing of your winning get in the way of really looking at your relationship and appreciating it. Would you, ooh, okay. We got uh, free will. This is a reminder that in all situations, especially when it comes to love, you know, each of you independently take action regardless of what outcome is you both have to be responsible for your role in the particular situation. Reminded that both of you have the capacity to make your own decisions without wondering or being subject to the constraints or desires of others. Also with the card self-love, for many of you, what could be holding you back from working your relationships out or having positive outcomes is because you still have a lot of inner healing. You're still dealing from a place of loss or tragedy or hurt. So once you learn how to work on forgiving yourself and others and work with your inner child and do the shadow work of what is haunting you or hurting you in the backdrop, then you can recognize what you need to do in your relationship. Then you can recognize the signs. Look at what sets you off, what prompts you to have certain behavior or be close to other people and join off from others. You know, all this self-work and healing really helps you to cultivate positive relationships. As I was shuffling this particular deck that I'm going to do next, two, three cards flew out. Hidden Enemy, The Fool, and Secrets. For some of you, the reason why you... <clears throat> could be having issues when it comes to your love life where there always seems to be something going on and not in a good way. There could be some hidden enemy in the backdrop, someone who could be doing any type of spiritual work or just their negative thoughts are really, really heavy upon you and those thoughts are interfering with the positivity in your relationship. Combining that with the full energy, this person is really reckless and like I said, they don't really care. All they care about is causing havoc in your life. So they're ready to take a leap of faith and do whatever it is that they have to do so that you don't achieve the happiness that you desire. With the card secrets, this person <clears throat> you could have given to or spoken your truest secrets in the past and they're now using that against you. Or this person has learned secrets about you and they're using that for their own accord as a hidden enemy, which when they're ready to use it, they're going to take a leap of faith and just come right out the door with a lot of things that you don't want disclosed. Let's see what else we get. We get fame. 
some of you you know we just got that message again a lot of you are too busy being the star being that you know that famous actor or actress or maybe you're getting your accolades because you're a band member or you own your own business but a lot of you the reason why your relationships are, work, are not working out or you don't have time to be in a relationship is you're too busy you know it, it, in the sh in the stars it, you're too busy on the surface being in the camera being in the spotlight you're getting all the attention that you need and for some of you that is the love that you desire at this time with the energies of loss some of you again your relationships and your love life takes a loss when you let fame and fortune take over okay anytime you let fame and fortune and your ego take over yes your relationship is going to suffer and your love life is going to suffer from it with the card stop look and listen you're going to get to this point in your life you're going to get to you know that that edge <laughs> you know the, the the tip of the runway the height of the mountain the you know the end or the fork in the road where you're going to have to realize what you do to create and not create the happiness and joy that you want in your love life and your relationships. Then let's see what's on the bottom of this deck. We get, well, some of you just really, you know, you want the relationship, you want love, but love has taken a back burner. Relationships and trying to mend and fix relationships has taken a back burner because you're really successful in whatever that you're doing financially. You're getting all the accolades and attentions that you need. And you know, you really don't have time to dabble in love. You're just really engaged. So for some of you, it's not a bad thing why you're not with someone or why you're not involved in love. It's just that you're really just riding this wave of success. And you don't have time to really think about sharing it with someone else. So as I was shuffling, you could see the Wheel of Fortune. What did I say? Yeah, you're all about your money. Things moving fluidly for you. Things, you know, finally falling in sync as far as your finances, your career. So you're in a real good space and you want this wheel of fortune. You want this jackpot that is happening in your life right now to continue. And you might feel like, hey, if I get involved with someone right now, if I let someone in, guess what? They jeopardize that jackpot. And that's as 1212 angelic number just showed up on the camera. We also get the energy of the eight of swords this came out today also again i believe both cards and i did shuffle the deck in our uh friday wake up call message so as many of you are enjoying this whirlwind of success and fortune a lot of you your relationships and your love life is on hold. You are kind of protecting yourself and burying yourself from love because you're protecting this joy, this amount of money, the accolades, and everything that goes with it that you're getting right now. With the energy, the Queen of Cups, yes, because, you know, you're fulfilled. You're fulfilled right now. Your emotions are great. You're loving yourself. What you do as far as your fame and fortune and the energy of love that you get from complete strangers or people who follow you is enough for you. Yes, to even surpass a romantic love. It's enough love to keep you happy and excited. And at the bottom of the deck, we do get the full card. Again, coming up in your reading, you know, yes. You're ready or you might be ready to take a leap of faith when it comes to love, but it's not something that is on your mind. It's like in the back burner of your mind, like, you know, I am so good right now. I am so happy. But it's good to know that, you know, when I feel like jumping into a relationship, I can also do that too. I just choose not to do that now. In the middle of the deck, we get the page of cups, but someone will come in offering their cup of love to you, offering that emotional support, you know. Wanting to test the waters to see if Saggy's going to let her guard down. If not for anyone else, maybe just for them. As we come to a sh close shortly, we get ashamed, guilt, embarrassed, and you're wrong. The reason why some of you might be shying away from love is that you did something in a last relationship or a current relationship that you got caught out there. You're very embarrassed and you're just working through that self-shame. So once you could heal yourself and get past that shame and um, feel that you're forgiven, you'll be able to start thinking romantically again and possibly even dating or rekindling a relationship. Some of you, the reason why your relationships don't work out or why love isn't coming to you right now 
at this time or what you need to be aware of is that you like the thugs, you like the bad boys. And a lot of us women and young ladies, you like what you can't have or you like the opposite of what you are. If you're real nerdy, you might like the thug because it contrasts. But you be, got to be careful because if you're not in that thug life, if you really don't understand what it means to date a thug and to be with a thug, it can really be reckless for you. So everybody wants a bad boy until they actually get one. The last card from this deck is funeral. Some of you might be losing a, a, a boyfriend or girlfriend who's into that life. Could be into those groups. You know what I'm talking about with the G. Or, or bad elements, bad crowds. Where there's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of things going on that can put them in possible danger. To get them in this particular state here. of This card. So be careful. You you know, you could be feel, feel ashamed because you dated out of your normal characteristics. You gave a thug a chance. But... He or she, you know, is no longer here because of that lifestyle. And that's a burden that you're dealing with. That's a hurt that you're dealing with. And for many of you, you need to open up your eyes. And that's not the type of person that you really want to be with. Maybe you did it out of sheer um, emotions, as a rebound, or just to test the waters. But like I said, be careful the type of people that you test the waters with because if you're not made from that same cloth, it could really have bad outcomes. At the bottom of the deck with off or on, hold, off and on, hot and cold and detached, ghosted. What you need to be aware of is read the room, read the energies of the people that you're involved with. Anyone that doesn't want to be bothered with you, they're not answering your texts and not communicating to you, you're not seeing them. They don't want to be bothered, so stop trying to reach out to them. If they want to be with you, if they want to contact you, they will when they're ready. And if you choose to be open to be there when they're ready to do so, fine. But, you know, these people who want to be in and out of your life when it's convenient for them, who ghost you, like I said, they only come when they want something, you have to stop allowing this. You have to set the boundaries to show your self-worth in these situations. And then finally, we get the love child. Some of you can be be ghosted because someone has a child or had gotten a child out of wedlock on you. Someone could have been cheating with a third party and that person or some other side person that they're dealing with got pregnant. So, you know, if someone hasn't been with you for a long time and if you have an inkling, which usually your gut feeling tells you that they got someone pregnant or that maybe you heard that someone was pregnant, okay, or you just feel like... You knew of someone who wanted them and she probably trapped him by getting, you know, herself pregnant. Then that's why you probably haven't heard from them because they're busy, you know, either this child has been born or they're being with this person through, you know, the, these early maternal stages, you know, as they prepare, they're having a baby shower, the person is trying to be responsible, be by their side. Will they continue to stay with this person long term? Um, after this baby is brought into the world, let's see, will this person stay with this love child or the mother of it? Yeah, okay, asking for forgiveness. So I do feel there's a slight a, a slight chance, more than 50, 50, 50, 50 chance, this person will stay with this person and do the right thing by them. Let's get one more. Not a cup. Um... You know, or this person could, could possibly least likely come back to you asking for forgiveness, wanting to be with you. What's at the bottom of the deck? Queen of Pentacles. Um, you know, but they know that this would not be a relationship that you necessarily would want to work at because you would feel some sort of way about this out of wedlock child or this relationship that they had in addition to you or along with your relationship and then this person got pregnant. So I really don't feel that they... they Feel that Sagittarius is going to bend on this. They kind of know your principles and um, the values that you hold in life. You won't stop talking to them. Like you'll probably still be their friend. But as far as a romance and future plans for you two, you'll nip that in the bud. Let's get one more clarifier. Yeah. Um, you know, 
it's going to take a lot of patience and understanding and maybe some time to pass before you could open up your heart. And it's just reminding you to be patient in situations, not to rush yourself into relationships um, with people that may not be good for you. Because again, you get a very bad outcome. Final card, the higher fent. Some of you, you know, you're going to go and get more spiritual guidance like what should i do should i hold this against this person should i stay with them should i forgive them do you think you know this was done intentional or did they just get caught out there or did someone trap them in this situation so pretty much you have a lot of things that you need to regard and to understand what could be conflicting and causing conflicts and delays in your life when it comes to love things that you're doing things that you're not doing things that you're not really opening up your eyes to be aware of and then what you desire what you attract in love you know all these things play a role are you know are these the right things for the right type of people that you want in your life. So I hope this reading has been a blessing and brings some clarity and understanding to you what to be aware of, which could be setting you back from love or eliminating love and connections in your life. Namaste.